Due to stiff competition from national chains, Nova Pharmacy was forced to close its doors just like over 70 local pharmacies across the state. But rather than work for a chain, local pharmacist Joel Thornberry decided to move his services to another local pharmacy. I spoke with him today about the importance of supporting local pharmacies. The real issue is in eastern Kentucky and in, in, in impoverished rural America, uh, when, when pharmacies like Nova, which was the pharmacy we just closed, uh, uh, you know, go out, then you, know, you have a loss of access. Um, that, that business doesn't fully stay local. You might get a mail order uh, that will come in and, and that money, those monies aren't recirculated locally. You might see patients go to chains where you know, they're overworked um, and, and thus they're not given the ample time, those professionals aren't given uh, the ample time to provide or, or be with a patient if necessary. Um, the care is not personalized. Outpatient medication-assisted treatment for addiction, adult and youth behavioral counseling, and now psychiatric services, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard. Regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, LLC, in Pikeville and Whitesburg. Call 606-432-5660. Find us on Facebook. In addition to local pharmacies providing personal relationships with their patrons leading to better outcomes, local pharmacies are the leading provider of immunizations and preventative care. Something whooping cough is something that we traditionally don't see but because most people don't realize that they need a tetanus booster about every 10 years, most people think that they only need to get it if they scratch themselves in a nail or, or cut themselves. Well, that's what a pharmacist does. They engage you to make sure that you're taking your medicine properly and that, that you have your preventative stuff done so that we can keep you better. Because why? I don't want you to be sick. Okay, I, I, I worry about you when I don't see you you know, often, and, and thus you're sick, and, and that's a problem for me because we are, you know, sort of the bellwether uh, of, of, of providing health care and, and the easy accessible, easiest, easiest accessible, you know, in the health care system. Spending your dollars at local pharmacies also allows for local dollars to go back into the community. So let, let's just go to our local high schools, okay? Let's just go to in, in, inside a gymnasium. Or, or let's go to a, a beauty pageant and, and you look in those journals or, or the, the, the program and, and you see what businesses are in there, what listed in there, who's on the ball fields. And all that money that you spend at a locally owned business gets recirculated back into these communities. Um, all, all these big chains, if they're not owned locally, all that money just gets absorbed out of here and we will never see it again. Uh, you see it in a little bit of the salaries but, but that's fool's gold, in essence, because there, no one's donating back. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.